It's like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Smack it. <laughs> Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Crash Lands with yours truly, Flux Capacitor here. Just slapping her bacon and her fruits and vegetables here in the uh, afternoon. 3 p.m. afternoon here on the planet of Woe Nope. <laughs> With her fine, feathered, and fuzzy, and, well, leathery friends. Yes, thank you, Willy. Willy's more leathery than he is feathery or fuzzy. And then, of course, Juicebox here is none of the above. He's more like artificial friend. Meaning, not fake friend. I mean, like, you know, robotic is what I meant. Oh, boy, he's going to take that personally. He's very, very sensitive. Anywho, ooh, I missed a couple of uh, fruits and veggies there. There we go. All right, so we're kind of sort of picking up where we left off here in the last episode. I have um, all the ingredients I need now for the Glitopus Incubator. So I have a Glitopus egg, and I went out and collected a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of new recipes for the chem workstation as well. This is what we got in the last episode. I've actually made up a Stone Hawk. I'll show it to you in a moment. So I don't need one of those. I would like to make a Blastic Saw. Let's track that. It's going to be awesome, uh, like a harvesting sort of tool. And there's a bunch of stuff here I can't make yet, like this Glorb, because I need water balloons. We'll try to get those today. I think I have to deliver a pinwheel to somebody. So I already have all this stuff made up, and I figured that was probably the best way to do this, is just get everything all queued up, and then just go harvest it all so you don't have to wait. So let's do it. Chem works first. Although, actually, let's get this thing going, because I didn't make that up yet. This takes 30 seconds. And while our Glitopus Incubator is being uh, cooked up, let's go ahead and grab these items. Stuffed Glutterfly, Blastique, Gunpowder, Sawgrass Seed Bombs, and Gravel Bombs, and Pinwheels. One for me and one for that other kook. Uh, we'll go figure out who that is out. In, uh, we'll figure that out in a moment. I want to put this pinwheel down. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, that's awesome. It's windy today. Cool. All right, now let's go grab our our Glitopus Incubator, which is now complete. Oh, I like this way to do things. Have everything all made up. We'll slap that right down in the middle of the floor here and keep an eye on it. Five minutes before it hatches. So let's go over to the sawmill and see what we got there. I actually don't even remember half this stuff. Old man statue. <laughs> okay. Let's put that outside. On the other side of the BS. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gigantic. I love it. Look at that. There's more bacon here I missed. So it says you can... It gives you good luck or something? It's not doing anything for me. That's a lie. Uh, whatever. All right. Looks nice, though. And... Oh, eggs kicking. Somebody inside there trying to get out. Perfect. And... Oh, a bed. Right. I finally found a bed recipe. It's stone and sawgrass. So, you know, like, super comfortable. I'm gonna get a lovely night's sleep on this. Let's put it right here. Slap it down. Oh. Uh, well, I don't want to go to bed right now. It's only 5 p.m. But I think if you sleep in the bed... It just turns it around. If you sleep in the bed, it'll, I think, restore health and also... Um, let you sleep through the night. So let me just read that here. A fine place for a quick snooze. Legends say that while you're asleep, all of your health is restored. Okay. All of your health and, I, like I said, I think it'll... Put it, I think you can sleep through the night too, and I'm not positive about that. We'll try it. And then, last but not least, we have a bunch of potions made up, which you've already seen. Oh, and an omelet. Oh my gosh, you know what we have to do today, guys? We have to deliver Grandmammy's omelet. I've been carrying the thing around for days. Let's go do that right now before we do anything else. <laughs> Poor old hag's been waiting. I'm not even going to bring a pet right now. We'll just do this alone. We should probably sneak in and sneak out before she... Oh, oh darn, she's awake. Oh, shucks, okay. Oh, hi, Grandmammy. I, I'm happy to see you. Glad you're still kicking it. <laughs> Here's your omelet. It's a little cold. I'm sorry. Thank you. Such a lovely aroma. This rage turned to nutrition. It will sustain my drive for vengeance. <laughs> oh, she's still mad still. Now, if you'll excuse me, Grandmammy's got some cooking of her own to do. Oh, gosh. She wants to get that uh, hoogadooka guy that killed Pearl. And she gave us a recipe. Pooped it right out. It's a schematic for mild speed potion. Awesome. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, I'm going to steal some of her bacon. Quick, close the door and run! Yeah, she's too old to chase us anyway, so whatever. Let's go. Let's get back home. Come on, juice box. Keep up. All right. Now. Oh, <laughs> just thinking robots. Um, she gave us a potion recipe, right? Actually, it's probably down here on the hearth. And Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a speed potion. Make three at a time. All right, let's make... Let's do six of those. You know what? Let's make... Let's have a total of nine of those. I think they're going to come in handy. 
Speed is absolutely essential in combat. Speaking of combat, let me show you my awesome new excellent Stonehawk of Toxicity. It is a level 5. Finally, we get an upgraded weapon. And ha we have a freeze chance, a crit chance, poison chance, and it attacks uh, twice per second. And it also adds move speed. Awesome. So it's uh, purple, by the way, which I got super lucky grabbing that. And we'll break that down. Don't need it anymore. And while we're waiting for a little glitter puss to pop, let's do one more thing. Oop, not, 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 not that. Let's take... Let's take the mushrooms out of here and put one of our bombs. We have so many dang bombs. Speed potion. We'll go straight to your thighs. <laughs> I guess it's fattening. We have so many potions and bombs and things. How about we put some of these seed bombs in here for combat? And I think this is it. Oh my gosh. Something inside freaking out. Let's let it out. Slap with my claws and try not to cut the little fella inside. Oh, she's adorable. It's a girl. It's a girl. I'm going to call you. <laughs> I'm going to call you. Uh, that's a good suggestion, Gooey. I like that one. So Gooey says that um, our little octopus friend here is a, uh, a mollusk, an invertebrate. So he says Molly. How's Molly? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Come on, little Molly. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You know, go back in your bed for one second there, little buddy. And what else can you do, by the way? Oh! We can, uh, well, we can obviously embiggen Molly, but I want to slap you and see what you got here. Glitopus larva. If you treat a domesticated Glitopus well, it'll give you its firstborn. We have to give it some of these reeds, which I had collected a gazillion of them for the chem workstation, which seems to use a lot of those in recipes. It's like a little baby in there. A little baby Glitopus. All right, sweet. Now, let's go see if we can sleep. Sleep right through the night. Z's. Sleepy time. Oh. Oh, it works. 7 a.m. Perfect. So you can bypass a night. Cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, come with me, Molly. Let's go see what you can do. We're going to head out. She might not be the right person for this trip, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's grab some wings over here. Found a new set of wings. And, oh, look at your little cousins up there. I'm going to go grab these wings down here. And then we're going to fly over to Ramurls and give him or her these uh, the pinwheel. That's what he or she wants. There we go. Can you keep up? Let's see how fast little Molly is. Woohoo! Excuse me. Coming through. Look at all the glitter pie. Dang. Oh my gosh, who's this fella? Ooh. It's a Womp Lord. I wonder if our little friend here is up for a Womp Lord. Let's try it. Let's get some of the big sand bombs in here too. And I, I've never fought one of these before. I've seen them. Let me clear the battlefield. I want to try out my new axe, too. Get rid of some of these little things, because we're going to have to maneuver. And I hate that this guy's here. All right, tell you what. Let's get rid of you first, then. Fine. And I can shoot at my blowpipe. Do a little extra damage. Oh! Oh, this axe really does swing fast, but this guy's so quick, too. Come on, little Molly, get him! I don't have stun, unfortunately. Oh, dang it. Here he comes. Whoa! Whoa! I want to shoot him. I want to get rid of this guy first. And then we'll take on the Womp Lord. Keep doing a good job, Malls. Keep smashing. Keep smashing. Right, that wasn't too hard. Now, let's get these wings, though. Let's just drink down. Um, how about a regen? And... Oh, I have to equip that one. That is such a pain. I don't need antidote. That's a real pain, man. Anti-venom, no. Um, oh, dang it. One more slot here would be amazing. And how about some venom? Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it. All right, let's take him on. You ready? Let me shoot him with my blowpipe first. All right, Miles, smash him good. Uh, stunned him. 
And hitting him good. Awesome. Now we have some bombs here too, but I don't know if I need him for him. I don't know. We'll see. He's pretty slow. Let me shoot him again with my low pipe. Get a little poison damage in there. Smash! Smash! Oh dear. Get him, Miles! Shoot him! Well, Molly doesn't shoot, Molly just slams. It's all about the headbutt. <laughs> hit him with that. Crit! Wow! I don't really want to get hit with that. Whoa. That double bump. Boom! 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 Yeah, so this axe is much faster, but still not doing a lot of damage to this guy anyway. I'm sure I can take him, it's just gonna take a while. Wow. Wow, is he tough? This is not going anywhere, is it? Here, let's hit him with one of these bombs. That wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Little Molly! Headbutting the big guy. It's awesome. Yeah, I'll slow him down a little. Smash, smash. Oh, no, you don't. You no double jump me. Okay, this is gonna be a while, guys. I'll tell you what, let me... Ah, oh! 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 Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Ooh, but I got a speed boost, you see that? Oh, no, don't don't you get involved. Get out of here. Green guy. Boom. All right, I got these potions, which work out pretty well. Oh, I love that speed. That's, I think, is that part of Berserk or something like that? Holy mackerel, this guy is tough. He's just got a gazillion hit points. Scary. Finally, we did it! Woohoo! What did we get? We got Womp Lord Essence. And a bunch of bones and other stuff. Oh, great. Okay, whatever. Let's get back on the road. <laughs> what the? Wow! I thought that was you, Molly. Thought maybe I hadn't fed you in a while. Sounded hungry. What is this little guy? Some kind of larva. Ew. Let's get him. Get him, Molly! Give him some what for. Never seen his kind before. This is what we do to people that spit at us. Gross! Petrified amber. Oh, what's this? It's a bone of some sort. A giant fossilized femur. Of course it is. Maybe these bones need a better pickaxe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Back away! Back away! It's zapping me. Actually, it didn't hurt, but I got nervous. All right, the smithery should be right around in this area somewhere. All right, guys, I think we're there. There's a telepad here. And what looks like some sort of man-made structure on the big map. That's how I saw it right there. And voila. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, what is that, like a mirror? Oh, it's like a punching bag. It's like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Smack it. <laughs> okay, let's go and talk to, uh, what's your name again? Ramurl. Aya, what's the who's that? Oh gosh, he's crazy. I'm Juicebox, and this here is Flux. Graham sent us your way, and we've got this little pinwheel for you. Pinwheel? I am Ramurl. Shh, listen, shh. Why is everyone here crazy? Must be something in the water. Hi, hoo hoo. Thought I'd done heard a crackle. Oh, energy, but it was just my hopeful imaginings. Oh, yeah, that happens to me all the time, just like pchew crackles and stuff. You hear it too? That it ain't just my mind playing them tricks again, but I can't try to grab that energy. It's not allowed, see? That's why the rest of them tendrums shove me out here with these bulbous squeed plants. Said it'd be good for my mind and better for them that I don't go making electricity again. <laughs> That's why we're here. Graham told us you'd know a thing or two about the energy arts and might be able to help us. We need a battery, Ramiro. Cut right to the chase there, Juicebox. 
battery? I can probably help with that, but I got this other project I'm working on. I just need some water balloons to get it done, but this floating thing came by earlier and took all my pumps. Hoogadooku? Awasa, who's Awasa? It? He had the darkness of energy arts all over him. You bet I just hid in his quiz and he didn't know. Hee hee hee. Can you help us build a battery then? The verb you're looking for is find, not build. Me and old Barnabas built one long ago. Hee hee hoo. Then one of them others found out and made us dump it. Do you know where? More or less, hmms I do, but before I say any more, you gotta help me. Just build one of these pumps from the chem work station, place it in some water, and pump out five water balloons for me, then we'll talk. Oh, yeah. Great. Water, water, oh, water pump recipe. So we have to put the water pump down, get the water, make the water balloons, and that would be good to go, but I knew he was gonna have water balloons, thank goodness. Okay, awesome. Now, let's, uh, I guess we'll just go back home and do these minor tasks so we can get our battery. Oh gosh, what was that? Plop. Landing on those little robots. Alright, hey, um, Molly. Take a nap. And, let's see. So, chem workstation, huh? Well, there it is. It's a water pump. It truly is. A lot of stone. And glitter siphons. And intact wampet hearts. Alright, let's make it. 25 seconds. And while that's cooking up, I think we should make... Um, wasn't there another statue? Well, I hope I have enough stone for this. Oh, I wanted to make this guy. Did I make one of those yet? I don't think so. There it is. Glitopus stuffed. And our water pump. Station assembled. Oh, it's a whole new station. It's got <laughs> one use only. To make water balloons. <laughs> Fantastic. Must be placed near Savannah water. Oh, in the water itself. Oh, that's so great that I have it right here inside. That's cool. So we can make water balloons with glitopus siphons and saw, bla uh, saw grass blades. Let's just make a bunch of balloons. Because I think we need them for various recipes. I think if you hit that, it cancels it, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do what I just did. And then this funky looking thing is a water bomb. By jamming a reed into a water balloon, you're now able to fling it with tremendous force onto your seeds. Seeds love that kind of... Oh, I bet this is like an instant harvest kind of thing. I mean, instant growth. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh, check it out! It's actually pumping! Oh, that's so cool! Oop, all done. But I want to make this right here, the Blastic Saw, now that we have all of our necessary water balloons and it looks like it's going to consume my old sawgrass saw which is fine and there it is oh here it comes grab it before it gets away tool integrated yes finally upgraded harvesting tool i'm so excited and let's grab the water balloon oh you can see it down there too this is literally just a water balloon making station sweet and so that other thing I want to make is this. Let's track that. Oh, we're almost done with it. Should we just bang it out, the glorb? Let's just bang it out. Alright, that ought to do. And there it is. A glorb trinket. Let's build it. You can take it as well as you can dish it out. Provides 5% chance to poison enemies and a 5% poison resistance. It's going to take... A minute and a half from this point forward. Oh, check out the heart pumping underneath the chem workstation. Oh, that's so great. I never really noticed all these little animations. I'm just too busy working all the time. Work, work, work. Anywho, all right, let's let's um, let's go try this new saw real quick here. Oh, one hit for the grass. Oh, okay, maybe two. <laughs> How about the trees? Okay, so it's one or two. Oh, look at that. One or two, or it used to be two or three before. It was never one. And we have a log tree seed bomb. Another bomb that'll go on the chem workstation. Yeah, this is pretty slick. Sweet. All right. I like it. Anything that helps harvesting, because that's kind of a chore. And I want to try one more thing. I want to try this water bomb and see what happens here. So D. 
try to grow them. Boom! Oh, it does! What did that word say? I didn't see, but look what I'm carrying here. A water bomb on a stick. That's great. Yeah, so it's uh, it's like miracle Grow. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, but I'm going to put those away for now. Put my bums back. And I'm just going to get reorganized for the next episode. Do some more harvesting and just get ready to roll out. And, oh, let's grab this thing. Right, jeez. Glorb. Let's do that first. And I'm assuming... Oh, it went right in. It went right in where it's supposed to go. And that's going to give me more poison chance. And what was the other one? I forget. Poison. Oh, poison resists. Right. Pretty cool stuff. And with that, my friends, I'm closing the door. And I'm taking a nap. Long day today. So see you guys in the next episode. Good night.